Intel, PDL. I think Scrap stays. That That's what I would think as well. But I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Scrap has one year left on his deal. Anarchy, welcome back for seven months. Thank you. Okay, so Scrap's on a team option. So, so here's why I say Scrap is the talk of the town and why I think Scrap gets interesting. Ultra has a couple choices here. Ultra has a couple choices. They take his team option, and he could potentially walk for free next year. They could shop him this year and try to get a big buyout before that happens. So I like using the Pred example here. So Pred, when he was on Seattle, they get a buyout offer, a big number. They get a big buyout offer. They don't take anything. Nothing happens, and he walks for free. They could have got whatever was rumored, half a million. I don't even know what it was. For Scrap, if you're Ultra, do you want to offer him something he literally cannot refuse, which has to be a very big dollar sign for him to not shop himself around next year? I think Scrap's in the best possible scenario. Because he either plays one year on a big salary and then gets to walk for free, or he could potentially get bought out by a big team. Alex, welcome back for two months. Thank you. Two months. Thank you. These Falcons about to steal our, steal our players? Well, uh, Falcons definitely could shake things up. If Falcons, if Falcons want to build a winning team, they could, they could really make something happen here. Isn't Fame a free agent too? He is. He is. Falcons scrappy? I'm just not sure, like, okay, I understand, yes, Falcons have a lot of money. But that being said, I don't think anybody knows how much they're actually about to spend. Right? Like, there's no way they just pay a Call of Duty player fucking $3 million. You know what I mean? Ultra isn't Seattle. They could probably keep him. Scrap will not sign a, deal to Ultra, to, a new deal to Ultra. It's illogical. It makes zero sense. It makes Scrap has all the leverage in the world. Scrap will 1 million percent, I'd put my life on it, that he will not sign a deal to Ultra. It makes zero sense. If he wants to stay at Ultra, he could run it up next year while he's a free agent and make them pay or up an offer that he already has coming. <laughs>